Today we'll be talking about service and maintenance on a TV35D Tier 4 final. You can go to our website at harperturpequipment.com to find more information on the unit, such as operators and parts manual. You want to be sure to know the serial number is it these manuals are serial number dependent. When you're working on the machines, make sure you wear the proper PPE, such as glasses, gloves, and hearing protection. You also want to make sure that you have any stops and or lifts in place to make sure that you're working on the machine safely. In the first section, we'll be talking about basic engine maintenance and checkpoints. For engine maintenance, the first thing we need to look for is the engine or the dipstick. The dipstick is located underneath the hopper. To access this, you will need to start the machine, raise the hopper, and put the safety stop in place. You can then open the small door with a quarter turn fastener and locate the dipstick. The dipstick can be removed to check for high or low oil levels. Adjust as necessary. For changing your oil, you can access the drain plug on the oil pan and remove it. The oil filter can then also be removed and discarded. After replacing the drain plug and the oil filter, you can fill the oil at this location. For the cooling system, you will need to check your coolant levels. This is a 50-50 mix. You will look at the levels and adjust accordingly. Also for the cooling system, we need to ensure that the radiators are clean from debris. There is a screen in front of your radiator that can be removed by turning these fasteners and pulling the screen off and removing all of the debris. The next thing in the system will be the air filter. The air filter can be accessed underneath the hopper. You will, have, you will remove the shield and then be able to remove the cover with the three quick disconnect snaps. Once this is done, you can remove the primary and secondary filter and replace as required. The final thing on the engine maintenance is the fuel system. For the fuel system, there is a shutoff located on the tank, which can be turned off, and then the fuel filter can be changed out. For all filters and, and fluid types, please consult the manuals that are with your machine or on our website. These manuals will outline exactly what you are to use and you can get them from your local dealer. For hydraulic oil maintenance, you'll need to check two items. The first is oil level. Check to ensure that it is, it is at the proper level on the dipstick. If not, ISO 46 oil can be added to, to the tank at this point. You'll also want to check your oil filter status. To do that, you'll want the machine running at low idle and check the gauge here. When it becomes in the red, you'll need to change the filter. The proper filter can be found in your manual. To change the filter, you'll, you may need the aid of a crescent wrench to break it loose. Remove the plastic cap and then there's a hook which can be pulled up to expose the filter and properly dispose it and then replace with the new filter. The filter can be lowered in and then tightened, hand tight, do not use a wrench as it is possible to over tighten this and break the cap. For the electrical system, you can find the battery just behind the right side of the operator station. You will also be able to find the fuse and relay box next to the battery. For any electrical issues, you may have to access this box and change the fuses or relays. The second thing you'll need to check in general points is the seals around the air inlet and the air return. These seals can become damaged or worn over time and may need to be replaced to make sure your machine continues to operate at optimal performance. For tire pressures, you'll want the front tire to be at 22 PSI. The rear tire will be at 30 PSI. If these wheels are ever removed, they need to be replaced and torqued to 140 foot-pounds. This machine is equipped with grease joints. To ensure you have greased them all, please consult the owner's manual and look for it for the locations. For the attachments on your TV35, sometimes you can experience high-pitched noises, chatter, or the attachment not rotating. In order to alleviate this problem, you'll have to adjust the counterbalance valve. You can locate the counterbalance valve here on the front of your machine. Adjust the counterbalance valve in one and a half turns to see if this relieves the situation. If it does not, you can then turn in on half, 
turn increments until this, it is resolved. At times, the loop flush valve may need to be adjusted. Some situations that require the loop flush to be adjusted would be while the machine's running, you hear a high squeak or whistling sound. You may also need to adjust the loop flush valve if while going forward or backward, you get a, a lunging forward or back motion when you step on the pedal. To adjust the loop flush valve, you'll want to go to this location and turn it in a half turn. If, the, if this does not resolve the situation, you'll want to continue to turn in on half turn intervals until it is resolved. In the event that the machine needs to be towed, you will need to release the brakes and open the bypass valve. This is intended for short distances at slow speeds. Remove the plug in the right and left hand wheel motors. Use the brake release tool found in the storage box. Install the screw and tighten the nut until the wheel turns freely. Open the bypass valve on top of the propulsion pump. Reverse this sequence to go back to normal ground drive. The TB35D has a DPF installed. The DPF requires regeneration. It can be set to actively regen or it can be inhibited so that it will not regen. You will want to use an inhibited uh, regen whenever you're in a dusty environment or in a situation where you do not want to have high temp on the exhaust. To change your settings for the DPF regeneration, you'll go to DPF commands, click the buttons, and inhibit or uninhibit the regeneration depending on your situation. If you run with the regeneration inhibited, you will have to do park regens at times. When you're doing a park regen, you'll want to make sure that you're in an environment where you can have the high exhaust temperatures and have cleaned your machine thoroughly. Thank you for joining us to learn about the TV35D maintenance items. If you have additional questions, we would encourage you to reach out to your local dealer. Local dealers can be found at harperturfequipment.com on the dealer locator.